So about two days ago, it got reported that um, Ray Barrett, also known as King Barrett, also known as Bad, Bad News Barrett, also known as Stu Barrett something, I think it was, when he was in the indie scene. I hardly ever keep track on that. Um, has given his notice about the WWE saying that he's planning to leave after his current contract expires in June and that he will not be signing a new deal. Um, this, like, WWE's already plagued with injuries. Now they have talent leaving because they've become frustrated with the status quo with them. Like, and I'm on Barrett's side on that. Like, and in fact, I'm kind of surprised Tyson O'Neill hasn't quit in protest because of, uh, management's incompetence. Did you also hear that they fined him $5,000 for touching Vince as an act of chivalry? <laughs> oh, how politically correct has Vince become. But, moving on from that, uh, Barrett has, has has pretty much been the one guy that could be a main event guy, but is always struck at the end of the day by bad new, by bad luck. Like, like okay, the next one was supposed to go over Team WWE. Cena's ego got in the way, and we all know how that worked out. Uh, Barrett was supposed to win Money in the Bank back in 2014, was it? Oh, look, Jack Swiker injures him. Uh, his feud with... Uh, his uh, return to Bad News Barrett gimmick. Oh, Vince McMahon says that's too over, therefore we have to get rid of it. And now, King Barrett. Yeah, that basically speaks for itself. So, yeah, Barrett has had so many creative mishandles with incompetent management, injuries, and ego that... It's sad that Barrett never got a chance to be... A t like, I kind of... When I first saw him, I was like... Okay, he's going to be a two-time world champion. I'm, that's at least getting where a two-time champion's going to be. And was I completely, completely wrong. Like, I thought he was going to be a two-time world champion, and they didn't go with that. They instead went with the John Cena is hero and God safe route. And, in, and when they finally said, you know what, let's give him the run... Oh, nope, he gets injured. Like, everyone keeps kind of forgot that um, he was originally supposed to win Money in the Bank back in 2014 before Seth Rollins was given the contract. But had Barrett not gotten injured, it probably would have been him running across the stadium winning the biggest WrestleMania moment, not Seth Rollins, and would have been world champion for a while. And then Seth Rollins probably most likely would have taken it. But... Yeah, the, like, a whole lot of things happen by mistake because Jack Swagger has an injury problem proning to happen and injures people. Let's not forget what happened to Dolph Ziggler after that kick to the head. And it's said that um, Barrett is... Barrett has reached this glass ceiling that was placed on him by ego, by management, and by injuries. So, I don't know what's going to happen after Barrett leaves WWE in June. Like, it's possible he's going to go back to the indie scene. Like, there's still a lot left in the tank for him. He's a great worker. He probably might go to Ring of Honor or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, he might go to TNA, though everyone keeps making jokes that TNA's going to fall apart soon. But uh, we'll see what happens later down the road. Like, they managed to stay in business last year, so I'm sure they can have enough will to carry on. So, yeah, um, good luck, Barrett. Um, if you, and like Barrett has said, he's 100% focused on WWE and has said he thanks for their support. And also, for some reason, Randy Orton seems to take a gripe at him. Seems to be a little bit bitter on that since he went on Facebook and called Barrett a coward for leaving. And people are debating, was that really Randy Orton, or was that someone using his Facebook posting as Randy Orton so they could make Randy Orton look bad, pretty much, and try to make Barrett look bad? But really, that only had fuel to the fire and gave WWE bad press by saying, like, oh, you're so bitter about, about one of your talent leaving. Like, did you do this with all the other guys that had to leave because of contract? Because they were put punished by your incompetent management? So, and... So, like, let's take a look back at Barrett's career in WWE. Was the first rising superstar in WWE for a while, for a long time now, since uh, John Cena was around. And won the um, first ever NXT season, back when it was still a reality-based competition. 
sort of, kind of, but not really, uh, and was the leader of the Nexus. So and it looked like everything was at an all-time high for him. And as I explained in my Nexus video, uh, John Cena's ego got in the way of business, and look where that led up. Okay, he's struggling with this Barrett Barrage gimmick he's doing. Um, the Wasteland, and then he did the core, which sucked. Uh, kind of forgettable. Uh, then he would go on to feud with Randy Orton. Randy Orton got injured. Then they had to drop it for a bit. Uh, he was originally supposed to win Money in the Bank at WrestleMania when they were thinking about bringing it back. They canceled that plan. Uh, they were planning to give him the run with the Money in the Bank contract in 2014. He gets injured. They gave him Bad News Barrett, which everyone thought was going to be a complete disaster. And turns out he managed to turn something or something generic into an organic sense and made it so awesome. And then Vince McMahon thought, despite the fact that he came up with the idea that shows, yes, Vince McMahon can still come up with good ideas when he really is motivated. But he hates it when it's getting popular and organic. Not forced. And not by force, pretty much. And... Well, look how that turned out. He even Barrett gave an interview saying, confirming this, saying that, yeah, management told me to stop saying uh, I got some bad news because everyone loved it. Fuck you, WWE. Fuck you. So now he's just been roaming around with the League of Nations, which failed miserably after less than a week when Roman Reigns beat them in a handicap match. And then Barry got injured and just been on the sidelines, like, and just still there, like, oh, uh, hey, Barrett, um, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much summing up Barrett's career in a nutshell with, uh, in, if I was to go with, with the short route instead of the long route, that could take forever. Um, this was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to YouTube for more.